Hey guys, so I just got to work and I'm here a little bit early, so I figured I would make a video while I am sitting here waiting to go inside for the last day of my virtual sleep tech training class, or A-STEP. Um, so in this video, I wanted to address a question that I've gotten a few times from different people, and that is whether or not I am still pursuing pre-med. So for those of you who don't know, I have been working on pre-med um, since 2021. Um, <clears throat> I have posted about it numerous times on my channel and just kind of talked about the process that I am going through with you guys if you have been following me for that long. Um, but anyways, so recently, back in October of 2023, I <clears throat> started working in the sleep center full-time, <clears throat> well, part-time and then eventually full-time, and um, it is February 2024 as I'm filming this. I know I'm way behind in uploading, but sorry. <clears throat> Anyways, I'm sorry. I'm like still trying to wake up. <clears throat> so, excuse me. Um, when I started doing my job as a sleep tech, I realized just how much training there was. So right now I'm on a break from school. I do still plan to eventually um, transition back into pre-med. But like I said, right now, with all of the training that I have to do for my sleep tech job, um, like I've been doing on the job training since October and now I'm doing this virtual class which is going to lead to me having to take a certification exam and eventually a registry exam um, because I can only hold the certification for three years. It's a temporary certification or a temporary credential I should say. <clears throat> um, so basically I have a lot of studying that I need to do and so I chose to put pre-med on hold for right now while I'm doing that just because I feel like it would be a little bit difficult for me to take multiple classes working on pre-med and also spend enough time focusing on the training that I need to do for work. So it's not that I have chosen to um, just completely forget about pre-med or pre-PA, whichever one I choose, because while I was doing like a pre-med, I've also considered pre-PA and I never really made a decision in either direction. Um, so I was taking classes that would satisfy requirements for both of those avenues, whichever one I chose to eventually um, proceed with. So um, basically it is still there. I still have the opportunity to go back and finish once I am done with like this whole training process and like I said, the certification process and eventual registry process, because it's a lot of information. For those of you who don't know, like sleep medicine is a lot of information. Like we have to go through and know stuff for cardiovascular system. We have to know about respiratory anatomy and physiology. We're basically kind of like mini respiratory techs. Um, or respiratory therapists. So not that we do a lot of like respiratory treatments and things like that, but like we do CPAPs and bi-level PAP therapy, which is positive airway pressure. Um, <clears throat> we also have the ability and it's within our scope of practice to do non-invasive ventilators and that's a whole nother process. Like there's a lot of protocols that you need to learn. You have to know all of the different sleep stages and how to score um, the different sleep stages like based on the person's brain waves. You have to know like a whole hookup process with electrodes and EEG and there's a whole process. It's a lot to learn. And like I said, I've been doing on the job training since October of 2023 and like I said it is February of 2024 as I'm filming this and I'm still like learning something new every day and I feel like for the entire time that I am working as a sleep tech I could probably continue to learn something new every single day um 
So, you know, I just, I don't want you guys to think that I'm completely giving up on pre-med or pre-PA, but for right now, I have put that on the back burner just so that I can focus on what I need to focus on for my job. Because like, I have a time limit. Once I'm eligible to take the certification exam, I have three months to show my job that I'm certified or else I no longer qualify to hold this position. So like I am in a little bit of a time crunch. So like I said, I felt like it was important for me to take the time away from um, pre-med and all of those classes and really focus on the material that I need to learn for my job. So anyways, I hope that if any of you were wondering the same thing, that this answered your question. Um, and yeah, if you guys have any other questions or any other topics you would like me to discuss on my channel in the future, please be sure to let me know. I would be glad to get something filmed for you. And with that being said, I will talk to you guys next time.